Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Odinocity and welcome to my Sunday build series. Right now we're working on my 2015 Honda CRF 450R. Now it's basically just a lot of little things that we're trying to tie loose ends on. So if you want to check out any of the other parts of the build series, all of those links and the full playlist link are down in the description. The main thing that we're going to be working on today is getting the Trail Tech Vapor Kit, which is going to be our speedometer and odometer for the bike. Getting that all unmounted up and installed. So I'll keep this intro short and we'll just get right into the building. So in the last video, we uh, put on the magnet that is gonna be the sensor for the speedometer. Whenever the wheel spins around, it'll register this magnet. So we put this on, it's using some JB Weld to mount it up to the brake rotor, so uh, hopefully that worked out. Well, I'm gonna give it an 86.3% chance it comes off of the tape. <laughs> I am not confident, but... Oh, here we go. Let's see. Oh. I mean, it's still there, so it hasn't dissolved. That's a good sign. Ooh. Oh, well, I'll be damned. Look at that. Wait. Oh, wow. Is that on there? Oh, yeah, that's on there. It's on there like a like white on rice. It, um, oh, man, you have no idea how hard it is for me not to, like, try to break it off. <laughs> yeah, please don't. <laughs> it was on there pretty good, but the Incredible Hulk here snapped <laughs> it off. Probably get some black paint, buff it out. Yeah. Be good to go. Get a little bit of Sharpie. So yeah, this is actually how you're supposed to mount this. The other option is to put it in uh, one of these bolts, but that doesn't really work with the adapter that we're, we're using. So uh, that's the recommended method. So the next thing we have to do is take off the caliper so we can mount up the actual sensor and then wire everything up. And we're going to flip the location. Oh yeah, so we decided that we're gonna flip the uh, brake line outside uh, the fork. I originally wanted it on the inside, but uh, you guys strongly recommended I put it on the outside just uh, to make sure that it doesn't touch that. Plus, when you look at like actual Supermoto race bikes, they all have it mounted on the outside, so. Better out than in is what I always say. We got that on. Yeah, we did. Uh, there you go. I wouldn't have been really butthurt if we had to take these pads out because Moto Master brake systems makes a really good <laughs> setup. Super freaking jealous over this pad. Why brakes? Why you do these? You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. Just so I don't scratch anything. Get ready to catch them. Thanks again, Moto Master Brake Systems, for making brake changes easy. <laughs> and I'm Scott Elder, a dealer for the people. So we just uh, drilled this hole right here, which is going to be the mounting point for the sensor. And uh, this is the out. This is the inside of this goes against the wheel. And uh, we'll put the sensor on, and then run the uh, the wire along the actual adapter on so the you gotta be careful out of view the... is out of view as much as possible but uh we kind of don't have another option you gotta be careful with the sensors they're sensitive and you might hurt their feelings all right so i forgot to uh, hit record but we've got the caliper back on and you can see the the sensor right here. Here's the magnet. It's it doesn't have to go directly uh, directly over the magnet, so that's fine how it is. And then we're gonna run this up right directly through here. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Plug it. Plug it in. Plug it in. Well, we don't have to plug it in. Plug right. it in because. Uh, Ready? Lick your hand. <laughs> oh dang! It's going crooked again. You're not getting it. Area. Oh. Come on, push. Ooh. Push. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh wait. We so, wanted to shrink tube that. Yeah, huh? we're, yeah, we're gonna put shrink tube on that. But this will run right here, and then uh, just gonna keep running. Put, put some of them ugly wires all the way up the bike. <laughs> That'll go up there. And yet again, the uh, the shrink tubing I have is not a good size for this, so I'm gonna have to pick up some some different shrink tubing for this. But we'll move on. Come back to it later. Step one, which is the same for every dirt bike. 100 times, remove this bolt.
these underneath here and then you tighten this around the handlebar when you do it tightens this even more this is a, this is a secret of mine this is how my mine is mounted to my super mono you can't really see it in my videos because none of you watch it <laughs> this is fry's uh genius method on mounting the trail tech to the handlebars without being able to see any mounting points so we're gonna try it fry cam Hold on, it's not focusing, there it goes. Wait. What does see with the magnificent Motonosity hands are doing? I remember the first time I did a Supermoto. No, we're just, we're just trying to hide all these wires. Oh, would you look Dude, at that? look at that. Would you look, look at, at that? that? That's a perfect fit. How let's get, let's get the Motonosity view in here. This, oh yeah. This guy needs to come down now. You sure you want those in the front and not the back? Uh, I'll try. You always gotta try the back at some point. Rotate. There you go. Yeah, see the problem is, uh, I guess that works. Yeah, once you use the zip ties, I think it'll be fine. There you go. Oh, she's not even recording it. Too busy watching you. You often have that problem. Ow. You don't know that. You can't see the cameras I've hidden in your bathroom. All right. Don't lose it. Okay. All right. Did you get it? The tie number one. There you go. You made it your B word. Poisonberry. That's the B word. I got these sausage fingers that don't. Here, dude, stop. Stop trying to use your fingers. It's never what she said. And use tools. I am a tool. Wait, that's not right. I didn't mean that. Now, here's a good question. Which wire was that? I'll let the viewers decide. You must have a scale. Look at this beautiful wiring job. It's just gonna stay here. Yeah, we're just gonna leave it right there. Yep. This, is, this is the design. All right, we got it mounted up, and it's actually really nice. It looks like it's not actually even mounted, just uh, sitting there, but it's super you secure. Broke it. Why did it turn off? <laughs> got these, uh, yeah, we need to clip these off, but it's zip tied down, and then what I did was add a little uh, of like 3M tape, um, double-sided tape right here uh, on the bolts right at the corners just to give it a little bit of cushion and keep it in place a little bit more and uh, you really don't notice them so pretty nice mount if you ask me you are welcome fry riding method so uh, this is how we have it wired up and a little tiny zip tie here and a little tiny zip tie there and then it runs straight up and behind the number plate <laughs> wouldn't be a real supermoto if it didn't have zip ties on it cool so uh, that'll be it for today. I think it turned out pretty well, so you have to let me know what you think. Other than that, guys, that's going to be it. If you want to check this out, I'll have a link right there at the top of the description. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. so you guys can go check out some of the other parts in the series. <laughs>